All right. Put on the perfect fundraising event with the help of the pros. We have Chad Gibson joining us from Bunker Hill Golf Course in Medina. And I thank you for coming in today. This is really a two-pronged thing, and I, and I love this. First of all, um, I just want to say congratulations because I know that it was in the early 2000s, you yourself were diagnosed with cancer. Yes. And you have been thriving ever since. Yes. And it makes me so happy to see that. But that's kind of where this all started. But taking people back even further, you've been involved in golf courses since the age of 11, Since I was right? 11 years old, little guy, yeah. So you've, have you just loved working at the golf courses, or are you also a huge golfer as well? I loved bowling, and uh, <laughs> I worked at the Coover's Lane. So Joni Hoover uh, had me go over and work at Brunswick Hills when I was a little guy in the summertime. <laughs> and then I just kind of been there ever since. So I really, really love golf. I worked Brunswick Hills a couple years. I at Copper Top for about 20 years and then Deer Pass for a while, uh, Bunker Hill for the last seven years. But I've always hosted golf outings. I never ran one. And in 2005, when I was 29, I was diagnosed with uh, Hodgkin's lymphoma cancer. So my friends and family went together and did a golf outing fundraiser for me and helped show my support and everything. So I said, well, I want to give back. So mm -hmm. I tried to give back, uh, volunteer times, going to different fundraisers and stuff and helping out and really wasn't acting like a big punch. So I'm like, what can I do? I said, well, I'll just host a golf outing, run a golf outing. You know, I've hosted so many, why not just run one? So I ran one for the American Cancer Society in 2005 and all the friends and family got together. And I realized it was a lot more difficult running a golf outing rather than oh, just hosting. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, it's, trust me. I enjoy getting to help host things. Yes, organizing yep. the whole thing is very different. But at Bunker Hill, you guys make it very easy for someone. It takes a lot of the burden off of those Absolutely. that, are, that so, are running it. Absolutely. So going from 2005 to now, um, obviously I've learned a lot on running the golf outings and we had... Um, you know, there are so many customer client appreciation days. Now everybody needs to raise some funds. Mm -hmm. So we got a team of 84 over there and we've raised over $10 million for over a thousand dollars or a thousand different uh, organizations. Amazing. And we set up the flyers, the sponsorship levels. We do a website to handle all the registration for the golf, the dinner, the sponsor levels, set up a Facebook event page. The website has them tell their story, thanks to all their sponsors. And then the logistics of the outing for the whole day, we do all the cooking, the cleaning, the setup, the teardown, order all the signs, put everything out. We let so no, they don't have to do anything, <laughs> nope. basically, is what you're saying. We, we let the host actually go out and enjoy their self-golfing, come in and enjoy dinner time afterwards, where our team handles all the logistics. And then we have the big price of right check at the end that we're able to hand them. That's, so this, first of all, just looking at some of the video too, this place is absolutely stunning. It, it's, it's a gem. Come around in 1927, so we're really close to approaching our 100-year uh, anniversary. It's one of the best Northeastern Ohio golf courses around. It's really, really in great shape. I mean, I want to have one there, and I'm not a golfer. But like <laughs> I was just saying to you, I've always wanted to create my own fundraiser and host in the name of cancer, too, maybe in honor of my mother. And now I think I never thought golf, but the one thing that's really neat is, too, this can, if you want an event for even kids to be able to be a part of, they can, you can have fam families, people of all ages. Absolutely. Show up. Men, women, kids, we do scrambles. We have a lot of fun with it. I have different venues from the main event center to the pavilion where we do cornhole and bonfires and jumbo jenga and uh, have a lot of fun there. So, any age, any gender, and we do a lot with the kids' programs. We do a lot with the seniors, uh, special needs, families in needs, anybody that's looking to uh, uh, raise a boost for their organization, we help them out. So BunkerHillGolf.com is the website. Uh, and I have to ask you one last question. Yes. I, I have a feeling I might know your answer to this. You know, when people are diagnosed with something, they automatically, it's terrifying, right? It is. It's terrifying. Very terrifying. But I would say, at least from personal experience, that um, do you and I think you've shown this. You've clearly have had so many blessings and so many wonderful things that might not have happened in your life if it wasn't for that. Absolutely. My wife actually uh, is funny because she goes, "You smile in your sleep. You smile when you wake up." I'm just grateful every day that I have, and then anything I could give back to the community in return is just an awesome feeling every day. Well, you're doing it. Ten thousand, ten million plus <laughs> 10 dollars. Million, yeah. Way different. Ten million <laughs> plus going strong. And if you are sitting there racking your brain trying to find somewhere to go to host some kind of fundraiser, you, it, it's a no-brainer. It's just you guys operation. make it so easy. Yep. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you for all you're doing. It's I appreciate awesome. it.